I'm back, guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm Eric. This is uh, my horror man cave. And I just recently won a contest, which, uh, to not all things nerd or all things horror now, uh, was having. Let me turn this down. Oh, it's too loud. And uh, it's pretty cool. A bunch of people entered it. And uh, you tell them what the prizes were and you get to choose. And uh, so I chose this one. I'll show you what it is. But before I show you that, I wanted to tell you it's it's most it's one through six of the saws. I do have the complete collection. Got this at Walmart, but I mean this is one through seven. But it's like if you're a collector like I am, or a completist, this just this just doesn't really do me justice. You got disc on disc, and then I pre-open this so it'd be a little bit easier. He sent in here. These are like all the collectors' editions of the saws, which are pretty cool. Like this one's number one. You got like a little saw blade floating in there. There's like some squishy water in here. Pretty cool. Got the hand cut off. Which is weird because I thought he cut off his foot in that one. I can't remember. It's been so long. But uh, yeah, and then you got number two. You got the key in the eye. On the case, it's holographic. That's pretty sweet. I, I hope that's working on camera. Cause that would be pretty cool. Then you got uh, number three. There's like three teeth ripped out right there on the front of it. These are all really cool. I like how they're all see-through and collector's edition. Like I said, I already did have each one of the movies, but if you're a completist like me, it's nice to have all these. So what I'll probably do is have like one through six of these in a row on my shelf and then have this be my number seven on the end. But, uh, yeah, so back to this, I think I'm doing these right, I hope I'm doing these right. Uh, number four, you got, uh, Dieter's head cut off right there. Five has the little, uh, I can't remember which trap this is, I think this is a trap that, like, rips somebody in half or something. It's pretty cool, though. And then six, it's got the, somebody's head in like a box of glass. I think that's the one that's filling up. But, uh, man, these are all just super cool. Thanks a lot, Todd, for having this contest. There's still more stuff in here, though. He sent uh, a couple of uh, Walking Dead cards. You got uh, the governor and I forget the blonde chick's name there. Tyrese, I think it's, yeah, it's been so long since I watched these, I'm excited for 6 to come out though, and I hear Fear of the Walking Dead is pretty good, he's, this governor dude is just a mean mug man, he is a mean motor scooter, and then, he basically, basically just like upgraded mine, cause like I'll trade in my old ones, cause he sent uh, Dawn of the Dead, which is this, is, this is one of the best remake movies of any horror movie, in my opinion. I do love the first one, I think Tom Savini had something to do with it, as well as George Romero, but this one is just awesome. They're running, they're, it starts off badass, just a look, like she walks out of her house after her husband and daughter just die and then like the whole neighborhood's just going crazy this is just that just gives you a cool little start to it in my opinion so I have that but I'm gonna sell my old one and keep his because those are the sweet little collector's case as well as who who doesn't have this I've got it but trade my old one in keeping this awesome one I basically just got a bunch of upgrades in this box which is pretty cool 
I really like that. The knife is like actually metallic. Shiny. Shiny, shiny. And then, uh, that mirror on Elm Street. Which one is this one? This is the first one. Cool. I have the box set, but I do not have this edition with this specific case, so. Awesome. And then I got a couple, uh, Rue Morbs in here. These things are always good reads by the toilet. And awesome. Thanks a lot, Todd, for having this uh, contest. Uh, I wish you many more subscribers. I forget what you're at. I think you're at like close to. Th I'm hoping 300 now because you definitely deserve it. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with uh, Todd, all things horror, that guy's really cool. Like anytime anybody talks to him, he's always right there to message you back and tell you what he thinks, whether he likes it or not, which is good. Uh, who wants a faker? But then uh, he also does cool little uh, short videos, like sh uh, horror shorts, which are pretty cool. I enjoyed his Halloween one. I hope he does. Uh, it'd be cool if he found some way to do a uh, Leatherface one. That'd be pretty funny where he's like chainsawing himself in half or something. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. And uh, I got one more unboxing coming up. Uh, I'm a lucky son of a bitch lately. I won Todd All Things Whores and then uh, Heisen Nerds and Geek Moros. So be sure to check that out.